Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I went to a fundraising event. It was during the daytime. It was a lunch fundraising event and I did my makeup like this. It was very natural, very um, dewy, glowy, and just perfect for the occasion. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, so I thought I'd share how I did my makeup yesterday in today's tutorial. So if you like this look, then please continue to watch. I'm going to go ahead and start off with foundation. I've already gone ahead and applied um, three different primers, my normal mixture to my face um, before I even started filming like an hour ago, I think. Um, I used the Makeup Forever Moisturizing one and then I used the Tatcha Silk and then I finished it off with my Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir Spray. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Santa Fe. Um, when I used this yesterday, it did oxidize, I think, because later on when I looked at it, it was a little bit darker, um, but I think I'm still gonna go ahead and go with a little bit of a oxide, oxidation, oxidation? How would you even say that? With a little darker um, foundation just because I like the way that it looked on my skin. So I've taken about four pumps on the back of my hand. So now I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation brush. It is the IT Airbrush Oh My God Foundation Brush. And then take the foundation from the back of my hand and then start to apply it all over my face. I don't like any foundations that have a cakey look at all. I like for them to be a little bit more on the natural side. That looks good. And now I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush and start to blend it out. So we went to a fundraising event yesterday. It was a fundraising lunch event. It was at a restaurant. I won't say little, but it was at a nice restaurant. I was wearing ethnic clothing. And with that, I did light makeup. And I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen so that you guys can see what it looked like. Now, I took it after I got home. So I'm in my sweatshirt. The foundation is just so beautiful. I mean, look at that that glow. It's so nice. So now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Concealer in the color Nugget, I guess, 06G. And start to apply that. Uh, so it is a little bit of a bad application. Usually you'll see the concealer just kind of under the eye and then feathered out. This is definitely a very nice concealer. One, because of the tip, it's a metal tip, so when it goes on under your eye area, um, it's a very nice cooling sensation and it just feels so good to the skin, especially after a long day. And it blends out really nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take Lawless Seal the Deal and take my Huda brush. So I'm just setting my normal places on my face. Um, if you haven't seen my updated foundation routine video, then make sure that you do check that out because I do an in-depth foundation routine um, walkthrough tutorial, so make sure you do check that out. Um, now that I've gone ahead and set my uh, concealer and finished up my foundation for now, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the eye area. Okay, so taking soft ochre, I'm gonna place that and then blend that out. Guys, can you believe how cold it has gotten on the East Coast? So I'm actually in Virginia um, and it has gotten so cold already and it's only October. We didn't even have like, well, it's the end of October, so it's almost like November, but we didn't even have like a fall. If we had a fall, it was like for maybe a day, but it went from straight from summer into fall weather. And I can't believe that it is the end of the year. Now I'm going to work out of the Morphe palette and it is the um, 35V. So I'm going to start off with this color right here and take that on a Smith 232 brush and start to carve out my crease. So now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Heat palette and taking the lightest color here and just Start to highlight my brow bone. All right, so that's good. Now I'm going to go in with, so hard remembering exactly what I used, but I'm pretty sure it was this color right here. So again, from the Morphe palette, it's this color right here, this brown one. And I'm gonna take that on a, a Smith 230 brush. 
So as I'm placing the shadow, I'm also feathering it up. But the majority of the product, it went into the crease and then I just feathered it up. That looks really nice. So it's like a diffused um, look or a diffused shadow. That's exactly what you want. It's more of a natural look. It's very dewy, clean, and fresh. And when you have your um, hair pulled back in a sleek ponytail, like, you know, like very modelesque, I guess, it'll look so nice. Then I went in with this red color right here. And at first when I put it on my lid or my crease rather, I was like, oh my God, I just ruined the entire um, eye look. But then after I blended it out, it was beautiful. You can either leave it like this for the crease, not the lid. You can either stop here for the crease. This is still a very natural, very classy look. Um, but if you wanna darken it up just a little bit more, you can go in with that red color that I just showed you and apply that in the crease. Now I am using a JH35 brush. Now you see it's so red and I'm like, yesterday I was like, oh my God, it's so red that, shoot, I messed up the whole look. That's what I thought yesterday. But then thankfully I was able to save it and I was already running two hours late to the event. Okay, so that's a good amount. And this color is so pigmented. I honestly, like I just dipped in very gently. I have a very gentle hand and um, it grabbed a lot of color. So I'm gonna take a Smith 247 brush and start to blend this out. You can use any blending brush, doesn't have to be this one. I'm gonna take this color right here onto the lid. So it's the second one from the row and this one right here. And it's okay if you just like do little stroke motions. And I'm just going to go in with like a clean, it's an almost clean brush and just tie everything together. So essentially just blending it again. Now I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow and use that as my eyeliner. So I used the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Eyeshadow. It's a single um, pan like this. It's a, it's a big amount, like it's that big. It's a pretty big amount. And I just took it on a Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. And I basically just went in very close to the lash line just to darken it out a little bit. And you can see that small little amount of eyeshadow really defined the lash line. I can now go ahead and finish up my eyes with applying mascara on them. Um, and for this look, I'm going in with my normal cocktail, which is the Lancome, the Chanel, and the YSL. The mascara primer first. So if you are watching a new Netflix show, and you like it, then if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I am looking for a new show to watch. I feel like ever since Lost, I have not found a good show. Okay, then waiting five seconds in between, but I think it's been five seconds because I applied the bottom mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my YSL one right on top. That looks good to me. It's so fresh, it's so fun, I love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and move over to um, contouring and bronzing up my face. Yesterday when I was running short on time, I thought I would not have enough time to do my contour and I thought I would only have time to do bronzing and that is it, but I was thankfully able to squeeze in contour. So taking my favorite contour pencil, Smashbox, and I also have a contouring video up that was highly requested. So make sure you guys check that out as well. That's a very in-depth tutorial of how I contour. I'm going to use my favorite, absolutely favorite bronzer. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, and I don't know what number this is, fair medium. Anytime I'm in a hurry, this is my trusted bronzer. Like I know this is the one I need to pull out of my drawer if I don't have any time. The way that it defines the face, warms up the face, it's, it's beautiful. So I just like to sweep a little bit across and then really in the cheekbone area is where I like to build and connect with the bronzing. Finishing up like the contour area, I'm just going to clean up the line. I'm bending forward because I don't want the powder to drop on my chair. I want it to drop on the table. 
taking the Natasha Denona face and glow in number two. It is a cream product. I'm going to highlight first right here on my forehead and on my chin. And then I'm going to go in with a synthetic brush. This one is the Makeup Forever uh, 106 and just blend this out. If you have a damp beauty blender, that works best. I don't have one here. All right, now that I've blended that out, go, I'm going to go ahead and set the cream highlight. Um, I am using the Estee Lauder uh, Heat Wave Highlighter on my favorite Morphe Y14 brush. I am using one of my new um, cream blushes. It is by RMS Beauty. It's, I think it's an organic brand in the color Modest. So I'm just taking that on a synthetic brush. It is the MAC 187. I am going to go in with a powdered blush. I'm using Grace by KKW Beauty on a JH06 brush. Grabbing product. And I like to do the apples of my cheek. I know some artists don't, that's completely fine. But for me, I like to do the apples of my cheek just to add a little bit more use to it, a little bit more color. Okay, cleaning up the powder that we just set to clean up our foundation. I am also going to do this. I, it's a, this is one thing that I've always done is just kind of blend everything together with a big um, brush. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and finish this look up with my lips. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs Supernatural Lip Liner. Then going in with the Giorgio Armani 202 Liquid Lip. Now I'm going to finish up this look with spraying the uh, a glow face mist by Lila, Layla, Lila B, and just spraying that all over. And then taking my handheld fan, and I'm just going to fan everything down. Um, this will make sure it just stays locked in place. If you have a um, battery operated fan, you can definitely use that around your face. Um, I do have that, but I just don't have it here with me. So this, this will also do fine if you're traveling, say, then this is great to have in your makeup bag. Okay, and you can start to see how the makeup is like coming together all melted as butter, beautiful. I've gone ahead and completed my makeup. I hope that you like this eyebrow tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs this video up, and follow me on my Instagram, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Love you. Bye.